two exercises I'm going to show you real quick that are pretty easy to do. Uh, pretty self-explanatory actually and all this is, is we got to have a bench press and we're going to have a seated row. Now I've got 100 pounds of plate. You probably can't see everything down here. I've got 100 pounds of plate down here and I've had this lightly loaded with 115 pounds. There's four uh, 25 pound plates. The bar weighs 10. The collars that are holding your bars in or the weights in position are five to five uh, total. So it's 115 pounds. It's 100 pounds. These are not excessive weights. These are not huge weights for guys. It's a little bit more than you wanted to do, ladies. Then uh, just do that. Let me adjust this camera just a little bit here. Okay, I was going to be uncooperative, but let's see what we can do. There we go. All right. Oh, a little better. Okay, see the top of my head. And hopefully you won't have to look at my bald spot much today. That's pretty evident in the, other, in the other videos. Anyway, I started you out with a seated row. Very simple to do. You need a handle on the extension. Handles just like this. All it is, is just look, looks like a maybe a um, mountain bike handle or something that's good. You'll notice that it does twist and spin in here. nice thing about that is by rotating like that, you're not trying to twist your hands, twist your wrists, and pull everything around. Now, when you start a seated row, you want to be back from the weight. You want your hands locked up. And what I normally do, there's a portion of this bench that is uh, pushed out or tapered, and I normally put my knees right behind it. And there's also a place right here. You can't see it from here, but it's on the footing where my feet actually sit. And what they do there is that keeps my place, keeps place for my heels to hang on to. That way I'm going to stay in position back here. I want to start at a low position like this and then pull up, come back. Now, row slowly forward until you start to bend over again and then back again. Okay, that's three. And four. And five. And six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Okay, and then you lower it down. Never clunk the weight, just lower it down. That's a seated row. I'm going to do two more sets of that, and then I'm going to go ahead yeah, and Yeah, we've got a bench simple press bench now. press here, and this is pretty easy. From this angle, you should be able to see it a little bit easier than this one. Don't involve this, of course. Obviously, it involves what I have back here. Laying flat on the bench, getting a comfortable grip, which is about shoulder width, maybe a little bit farther. You want to make sure that the grip is comfortable. You want to make sure your weights are stable. Uh, trying to pull this up with unstable weights is just ridiculous. You don't want to do it. Okay, now, before you set, when you're going to set weight, you notice that I do arch my back. Some people think you have to be flat down on a bench to get this done, and nothing could be further from the truth. It's much, much better for you, and it concentrates and focuses on these chest muscles if you arch your back as, as well as you can. Make sure that your, back, your shoulders are touching, that there is an arch between your buttocks and your shoulders, so that the back is properly bent. Now, once you've got your weight established, you want to breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down. So, it's done like this. Okay, easy to notice. Please notice something very important too. Every time I lowered the weight, back a little more. Every time I lowered the weight, weight touched my chest. It did not just come above the chest, it actually touched my chest and I came back up with it. 
It's the proper way to do a bench press. Have your back arched. Make sure your grip is comfortable. Lower, lower the weight down. Okay, boys chest. and girls, here's a real important one here. We all want to be big and macho guys. Girls, we all want to feel that we're as capable as guys are, which is a good thing. Everybody should be capable. Everybody should be treated with equal respect. Equal respect does not mean getting out there and grabbing so much weight that you hurt yourself. Okay? It's not the goal. The goal should be to get enough weight to control properly, build good muscles, and keep you safe. And that's the whole point right there. The number one problem with a lot of people lifting weights is that they will try to lift too much and hurt themselves. Much, much better. Start with a lower weight. Start with a lighter weight. Work yourself up. I weigh 185 pounds. I can bench press 185 pounds. I'm happy with that. A lot of guys, oh, I got to pump 250. I got to pump 500. Fine. If that's what you want to do, great. But I guarantee you they didn't start out doing that. I guarantee you they started out like I did. They started out with 50 pounds, 100 pounds, whatever. And they worked their way up. That's what you want to do too. Ladies, if you want to bench press, if you want to be a big bodybuilder, great. Hey, more power to you. And enjoy it. Great. If you're just doing this to get body shaped, if you just want to be, you know, curvy, natural, feel good about yourself, that's great. Whatever reason you want to do this, there's a way to do it without hurting yourself. Now, you notice I am wearing grip gloves. I want to make sure that you understand those are to make sure that I have a proper grip on the weights. Okay? I also wear a weight belt. And I showed you this last week. This is a Bollinger weight belt. Uh, I use this as basically a pad. It doesn't help as far as weight loss goes. Sorry about that. Uh, a lot of people think that you can spot reduce. You can't. Okay? But it does give me kind of a pad where this belt sits, which I like. But again, that is a Bollinger weight belt. Bollinger makes a good, a good product. Uh, so do the other people that make the products. Just kind of make sure that it's sturdy. Something's going to hold up. I like the Bollinger because I've had it for several years. And there it is. Still going to work out for me. Okay. Everything I have here is pretty basic equipment. You don't have to be fancy. You don't have to spend a lot of money. What you do have to do is realize that, hey, I need to get in shape. This will help me do it. And it will. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy your life. Be safe. Bye-bye.